private sector offers unprecedented amount of humanitarian assistance to Ukraine. The contribution of over 1.4 billion US dollars in cash and in kind donations from businesses around the world to the people of Ukraine amid the Russian invasion is record setting. The United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs in collaboration with the UN Development Program and with the support of the United States Agency for International Development recently made the contribution data available and accessible via an online service called the Ukraine Private Sector donation striker an overview of how much each of the almost 400 donors provided and the amount received by 140 humanitarian recipients can be downloaded we are grateful to all the donating businesses and organizations for lending a helping hand to the tender-hearted ukrainian people during this difficult time we pray that peace will soon be re-established in ukraine and all can live in harmony in god's righteousness New study shows tropical dry woodlands are being deforested at rapid rate. A paper recently published by researchers from the Humboldt University of Berlin in Germany and the Earth and Life Institute of the Catholic University of Louvain in Belgium highlighted that since the year 2000, the world has lost over 71 million hectares of tropical dry forests, an area twice the size of Germany. Furthermore, one-third of the remaining forests are under threat, 55% of which are located in Africa. The scientists cited agricultural expansion as the major cause of the deforestation. According to a 2021 report published by the World Resources Institute, creating pasture land for meat production accounted for 36% of all agriculture-related deforestation from 2001 to 2015. Many thanks, researchers, for sharing these alarming results with the world. May such warnings help lawmakers worldwide to quickly enact laws to protect our precious forests in celestial wisdom. Electric aircraft made in United Kingdom makes successful test flight. The one-seater Sherwood E. Cup is the first British-designed and manufactured electric airplane to successfully complete a trial flight as the nation moves towards electrifying its aviation industry. Piloted by Dr. Guy Grayton of Cranfield University, which partnered with a consortium to develop the plane, the craft successfully flew for 10 minutes in the first trial and then 22 minutes later on the same day. The results will be used to advise the industry and builders of small planes as well as the aviation regulators on design best practices. It will also help set future certification standards for the new generation of electric airplanes. Way to go, Cranfield University and all involved on your advancement of electric aircraft technology. In divine abundance, may we heal the planet through green development and the loving vegan lifestyle. Researchers discover groundwater system below Antarctic ice. Scientists from the Scripps Institution of Oceanography at the University of California, San Diego, as well as Columbia University's Lamont Doherty Earth Observatory, both in the United States, have found a large reservoir of groundwater beneath the Williams Ice Stream in West Antarctica. The discovery was possible using a method called magnetotellurics, which measures how easily electric charges can move through material below the surface. The scientists estimate that if all the groundwater was removed, it could form a water column 220 to 820 meters high. Aside from exploring possible groundwater systems under the whole continent in the future, this finding also opens an interesting research area for scientists to find out how underground water systems impact Antarctica's response to climate change and in turn sea level. What a remarkable discovery! May heavens protect you, dear scientists, as you continue to discover more secrets about our gentle Earth and inspire more humans to be kinder to her. Teenagers collect shoes for charity. Dario Gouveia, a ninth grader from Johannesburg, South Africa, and his sister Liana co-founded the non-profit Soul to Soul in 2017 when Dario saw a child on the street with no shoes. After that encounter, he wanted to help other children in that situation. Dario and Liana started with 14 pairs of gently used shoes and so far have collected over 185,000 pairs. The footwear they gather goes to orphanages, shelters, school children, underprivileged sports clubs, flood victims, and more. The hardworking and compassionate teenagers have launched a winter shoe drive hoping to supply adequate footwear to all the organizations they support. 
Bravo, Dario, Liana, and all the others involved in this amazing project. May every child walk in comfortable shoes with confidence and happiness in the tenderness of the providence. Venue at Center of Seattle, USA's music scene in 1980s and 1990s now hosts Vegan Grocery Store, a space that once was an establishment called the OK Hotel, which was central to the Seattle grunge rock music scene in the late 20th century, now hosts the Isle of Plants Vegan Grocery Store. Co-owners Michelle Rabena and Hayden Stanko, both 27 years old, are longtime vegans with plans to make the site a hub and meeting point for the city's vegan residents. Plant-based cooking classes, charity event meetups, and taste testing are planned to be held someday at the premises. Michelle and Hayden aim to open such vegan centers in other cities, states, and eventually globally. Way to go, Michelle Rabena, Hayden Stanko, on creating a new place where vegans come to shop and meet. In the blessings of heaven, may your store introduce many in Seattle to the joy of compassionate choices and love for all. Clever Ecuadorian construction workers use excavator to rescue drowning dog person. Three builders working close to an irrigation channel in Pasaje Canton in Ecuador's El Oro province were radioed that a struggling canine person was being swept towards them in the rapidly flowing water. One of the men, Abel Murillo, immediately jumped into the excavator scoop while his co-workers maneuvered it to be slightly above the water. When the dog girl, who was desperately trying to keep her head above water, came close to Abel, the courageous man managed to grab her and place her inside the scoop. Both were lifted to safety unharmed. The kind workers collected money and took their rescue train to a veterinarian for treatment. The brave event was videoed and posted online, where it went viral with many positive comments. Our salute, Abel Morijo and fellow workers, for your quick action to save a precious life. In God's grace, may humans be a benevolent protector of all animal people on Earth.